he, he was a Mike Mincer protege, but he had his own little spin on it, but it was pretty much the same sort of training. Yeah. Yeah. The working up to the main set. Well, it's funny. Cause if you think about it, even really, he didn't, he didn't label it that way at all. But, uh, but if you look at how he trained, Ronnie Coleman trained that way because he would do. So this is an interesting then. thing because, um, and somebody, Chad Nichols tried to blast me for this. Really? But, yeah. Um, I was at nationals and I think it was 2004. I just competed. And after the show, I was like walking on this boardwalk and I saw Ronnie there. And he was just looking huge. Yeah. And I walked straight up to him because I've been, you know, I've been training for a long time and I just wasn't getting 300 pounds. The heaviest I've ever been was 250 because I just, I just couldn't get bigger than that. And I asked him, I said, so what do you, what is it that I'm not doing right? And he said, look at the training of Dorian Yates. And I, I'm like, really? Ronnie said that? Yeah, he goes, look at the training of Dorian Yates. And I was like, wow, like, why would he not say, look at my training? He said, look at Dorian Yates training. But if you think about it, so Ronnie did more free weights and less machines, but he still worked up to like an all out set of failure. Yeah, every set, every every exercise he did that. Mm -hmm. Real heavy. And don't tell me he did 20 sets like that. No, Nobody can do that. No, you can watch the videos. I mean, he did a couple warm-up sets, probably like three, and then boom, all out, max out. And he, that was yeah. a record, record, you know, it was like a record for him. Right. So, yeah, he would – he did a different exercise selection, but still he trained pretty much the same way. Yeah. You know, and I said that on a message board and, and Chad Nichols blasted me and said, Dor uh, Ronnie's training was nothing like Dorian Yates. How I'm can like, you say that? Well, because Dor you know, Dorian used Nautilus machines hmm. and not as many free weights. And Ronnie did more free weights and didn't use so many Nautilus machines. But, you know, I don't care. Exercise selection, whatever you want to call it, that – the training style was still the same pretty much. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, Ronnie did more drop sets instead of uh, force reps and negatives for the same reason I said I'd do it, you know, but he still did that all out set to failure at the end. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't care who you are. You can only do one set that way. Yeah. There's no way you could do it twice. No, you can't. There's no way you can do it twice. There's just, it's impossible. You, you could do it again, but you're not going to get the same amount of reps and the same, uh, there's just no way you're, you're, you're shot out after that one. You're smoked. Yeah. Yeah. You're smoked. If you really went all the way to failure completely, totally and annihilated yourself on that set, you're not doing another one of those. Yeah. Yeah. And Ronnie never did. He, I mean, like with the dumbbells, he went up, you know, he did his final set was the 200 pound dumbbells for 12 and that was done. And done because if he did another set with 200 pounds, it would have been eight. Yeah. The set would have been six. And at that point, you're just, you're not going anywhere. You already, you already stimulated the growth. It's done. It's done. Now you're getting into your recuperation. So he actually said that to you, Ronnie did. That, this is personal. He thing. said it to me in person at a restaurant on a boardwalk in Miami. Wow. And I've told people, I said that story on a message board and I just got blasted for it, but whatever that came out of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, man. I Ronnie's still stand by that. I, like I said, if you look at the training, you know, maybe Dorian did an under grip barbell row and he did a T-bar row, but still it was working up to that one all out set to failure. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing as Mike Menser. I mean, it's, it goes back to him. Well, it just goes back to, it's just th physiology. If you really push that last set to failure and beyond failure with everything you got, you can't do more sets than that. There's just, you, it's physically not possible. Don't tell me you're going to do five sets like that. No and way. You tell me they can, I'll prove you wrong. Yeah, let's just watch it. No, I'll, I'll put a thousand dollars on it. I'll put you through that set. Then you show me you could do another one. 
Yeah. You won't. There's no way you, you're not going to be able to because you're going to be done after that. I don't care what kind of endurance athlete or, or how long you've been training. When you've pushed it to 100%, everything you've got in you, you can't, you can't repeat that, at least not on the same day immediately. No, it's not possible. Now, if you are training with 80% of your max and you're cutting the, rep, the set short because you're not really putting everything into it, sure, you can do a bunch of sets like that. That's different, yeah. Yeah, because you're not working that hard. Yeah. I'll tell you, this is an interesting thing. Um, this happened literally a week ago. I started training legs, and I was going to do hack squats. And I, I usually do work up to uh, – the hack squat machine I have, it's pretty heavy, the weight, because of the angle of it. But I work up to 10 plates. I do a set of 10 reps, and then I do my drop set with uh, 12 plates. Well, I did my set of 10 reps and then I got a phone call. There was an emergency. Something happened. I had to leave right before I was going to do my all out maximum set. I didn't finish the workout, which is not, this is something that never happens, but it yeah. did. I did not even get sore from that. I did the leg extension, leg curls, warm ups. I worked up to the set of 10 with the five plates. I didn't feel like I even worked out the next day. I had no soreness in my legs. I wasn't even tired. I didn't even feel like I even worked out. This week, I did that maximum all-out set on that, and then I did a maximum all-out set on the leg press, and I am crippled. <laughs> yeah. I was hobbling out of the gym. And today, I'm, like, beat up, which is why I always train legs on Saturday, because I, I need Sunday to recover. Wow. Sunday is a day to just do laundry and eat and lay around and just recover because I'm like good for nothing. That's crazy. Yeah. That, that's how <laughs> you just schedule it. So you can just do nothing the next day. That's all. Yeah. Because I'm, I can't, I'm worthless after that. I mean, anything physical, if I had to walk around at work all day, 